Hello, hello. All right, we're going to talk about the most essential ingredient that is missing from your weight loss journey. And it has nothing to do with the food plan you're on, <laughs> has nothing to do with your exercise plan, has everything to do with you making space for yourself in this journey. And I'm going to talk to you what that looks like. So whenever I had tried losing weight in the past, you know, before my final time, I burned the boats, chose to take timelines off the table, let myself just go through the process of focusing on habits. Everything I did was with a lot of expectations and no space for Heather. No space for Heather to make mistakes, no space for Heather to continuously fall in, on her face over and over and over again. So the, the, the ingredient that I see missing for everybody is space. Space for this to take as long as it takes. You hear ideas, someone teaches you something, someone says, hey, this is something that would be helpful. Your brain immediately says, yes, this makes logical sense. Yes, we're going to do it. But then you keep falling down, falling down. You're not doing it. You're falling down. You're falling down. And then there's a lot of judgment that comes in. I shouldn't be struggling with this now. I have lost all my weight. I shouldn't be struggling with this right now. I understand what Heather has said to me. I shouldn't be struggling with this right now. All that shouldn't be struggling right now is you not making space. You making space looks like this. Of course I fell down again. That's what's going to happen. This is my struggle. This is the thing that I have a lot of lower brain chatter around. It might take me 50 years or more to get this worked out. It's okay. Dust myself off, pick myself up, do it again. There's no judgment because you let go of expectation. You might not even articulate that there's an expectation, but there's an expectation. The expectation is you should get your crap together. <laughs> you shouldn't have to fall down as much as you fall down. You've been doing this X amount. Of, we use a lot of time qualifiers, by the way. Like, oh, I went 30 days binge free. This shouldn't be a problem anymore. I kept my weight off for five years. This shouldn't be a problem anymore. There was an expectation based on time that meant you should no longer run into any issues. That is where the, the lack of space exists. What I really want to encourage you, the reason this time was different for me, I got comfortable. I settled into my lazy boy, so to speak, metaphorically. I said, this is going to take maybe the rest of my life. <laughs> like I literally talked to my grandmother who was in her 80s and 90s and heard she was still struggling with a lot of the same things. So I realized age and time do not heal all things. That this could be something that I continue. But as long as I had these harsh expectations of myself that I couldn't fall down, that I wasn't going to, that I was going to hit a point where I stopped making the same mistake, that was where the progress actually happened. <laughs> and I still fall down. I still make mistakes. I am not impervious to it. But you know what? I have a different attitude about it than a lot of other people do. I'm like, of course, Heather, you fell down. Of course, this is going to happen. You just get back up, dust yourself off, follow your protocol, and you don't judge yourself for it. So when we talk about space being the missing ingredient, it's the space to learn. It's the space to fall down. It's the space to fall down again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And I could go on forever, right? But that's what it is. If you can't give yourself that space and everything has an expectation, everything has a timeline or time qualifier, you will continuously struggle with the same thing because your brain won't let you keep falling down. It won't let you be okay with this process. That is a magic ingredient to this process. It's the willingness. It's like if you see a kid, they fall down on the bike. They fall down on the bike. You don't finally come, come on now. That's been five times. You should, you should have your stuff together by now. Why do you keep falling down? We can grant a lot of times this space to people we love and care about. And sometimes even then, I mean, I'll be honest with you, sometimes even then as a parent, you can have that thought muddle through because a lot of times for parents, they see their kids as extensions of themselves, right? But generally speaking, 
we do a much better job of it with others than we do ourselves. But what would that look like for you? What if you really gave yourself the space to fall down as much as you needed to? And it could be 50 years of falling down and you're just gonna get back up and you're gonna continue to peck away at this and you're not gonna hold contempt for yourself and you're gonna have a jolly attitude about it because you've let go of expectations. If I told you that was the secret to getting all the weight off and keeping it off, could you do that? Most people really can't. They have, they don't even realize all the expectations. They don't realize the lower brain chatter around perfection, black and white, all or nothing. They're, they're like, kind of like, why am I frustrated again? <laughs> why is this happening? Why do I keep? Why, 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 why? Because you will. It's not going to end. 30 years from now, you could have a fall down moment about something you're currently doing well with right now. It's going to happen. <laughs> like as sure as I'm standing here talking to my phone, walking down the road, it's going to happen. And it doesn't mean anything other than the story you attach. Because now when I fall down, eh, it was going to happen. Okay, get back up, dust yourself off, move on, right? Like literally, I make no big deal about it. That's why it's gotten a lot easier for me. It's not that falling down feels good. It's not that doing the thing that makes you feel crappy you enjoy. It's just that I don't then also have to attach a story to it and kind of revel in it and make a big deal about it and think that there's something wrong with me. I think this is part of the human condition to continuously fall down, get back up, learn, move forward. But we tend to think there should be a timeline when that stops happening. And I want to encourage you to say, that's incorrect. And what if it is incorrect? And what if I don't give myself the space? You're then kind of stuck in this perpetual cycle that you've been stuck in where you're just going to keep quitting, starting, seeing this as being like a you know, repetitive cycle that you're stuck in, like a wash cycle. But I promise you, it will always happen. So kind of like changing your thoughts and attitude about it, giving yourself the same space that you would give another human being, and realize that your attitude and thoughts about it really are the thing that are going to make this doable long term. So I just want to encourage you, think about this through a different lens. Do you give yourself unlimited amounts of space, unlimited amounts of fall down moments, passing it over, eh, dust yourself off, get back up. You're perfectly fine. Do you do that? Because if you don't, that's where I want you to do your work. Because when you can incorporate that element, you're going to get there. I have zero doubts. But that is the thing that causes so many people not to succeed in this arena. They have expectations. They think certain things are okay to do so many times. But then when it exceeds that, it's not okay anymore. <laughs> and so then they start to shut down. What if you didn't shut down? What if you just saw it as being a trivial bump in the road and you're continuing and you actually anticipated you were going to have this problem indefinitely and you're just learning how to jump back up, jump back up, get back to it. And it's not a big deal. What would that look like? All right, guys, I hope this video helps. The essential thing you are missing is space for yourself, space to fall, space to make mistakes, space to not attach timelines and deadlines and quantified amounts of times this should or shouldn't be happening changing all of that. You guys have a great day. Please like and subscribe, share the videos, and I will talk to you soon.